Hey guys, welcome back to Drawing with Juni. I know we took a lot of, of a break but because I wanted to take a little break, but it's okay. Now we've started again. Today we're going to be drawing uh, a tiger with a paintball gun. Okay guys, now we're going to start drawing our tiger with the paintball gun. It's going to be really cool. So I'm going to be using a Sharpie uh, a marker, but you could use whatever you want. It's permanent, fine point. Okay, let's start. Let's start with the uh, tiger's top, uh, uh, on the top, uh, the top uh, middle of our paper and his face. So we're going to start with a small line coming out like this okay now we're gonna curve it here and curve it back in like a ear and we're gonna get the straight line in again like we did on the top here so that's basically his ear okay now we're gonna make a this this small line here on the top we're gonna continue it all the way down diagonally and now we're gonna just curve it up a teeny little like that you, you really can't see it but it's like curving up a little like that okay now we're gonna make a curve line coming down okay like that so we did this straight line down we curved it up and now we're curving a line down like this okay and we're gonna make a curve line here um, on this spot here like we made that point up there and from here we're gonna make a curve line and divide and and uh, separating it so now we're gonna color it in as his nose okay now let's uh, make his smile so we're gonna get a curve line back up like this okay you can see his his face is starting to get into shape so we've done the curved line back like that now we're gonna uh, make some teeth here so we're gonna start with the curved line coming down and coming up again curved line coming down and coming up it's not exactly a triangle it's more like a curved triangle so we're gonna repeat this all the way up how many ever you want to do i've done four so until the little gap there not it's not like it's ending in that on a, on a tooth okay now we're gonna do a curved line coming down and uh, we're gonna get a different way a line like this curving this way okay now we're gonna make a small uh, a st small line coming down from there okay and we're gonna make uh, and then we're gonna make this line curving and get coming diagonally all the way up so see we first made a line this way curving and then curving this way up here see so we reached here now we're gonna um we're just gonna uh, connect the ear line here uh, uh, diagonally into that part okay good now we're gonna get into his eye so first you see this diagonal part we've done here this line whoops i by mistake made a small line here but that's fine that's like maybe you could do that too so uh, we're gonna make a small uh, line downwards here in, in if you look at it this way it's basically almost in the middle of that part and we're gonna get a curve line at the bunny and the at the bottom all the way up with a little gap so from the straight line we can connect it in remember the man if you've seen we've done a manticore lesson also which is like a lion a scorpion and a dragon but this is like a, a tiger so it's like almost opposite but he is with a paintball gun okay so good now we're gonna fit in the eyeball there so we're gonna do a oval in this middle part of the eye a little to this side but it's okay it's okay it's supposed to be a little there because you're looking downwards for some reason and we're gonna color it in okay now we're gonna make some stripes here okay so we're gonna make 
a line coming this way out to there straight and then a, and a curving little coming back in and then we're gonna color it in and see we've done that now we're gonna do the same thing here do that it's like uh, almost like the teeth we did okay one more stripe done uh, we're gonna do one last one here okay and color it in Oh, and we forgot oh, uh, one uh, more row of tooth on the bottom side. So we're going to do a curve line up like this and curve it back. And we're going to repeat this all the way here. Okay. Now we're going to actually, we're, let's make one more stripe. Which is like the curved tooth. Okay, that's cool. Those are cool stripes. You want to do those on the body, but they're cool stripes. Okay. Now we're going to get... Uh, 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 a line coming down like this diagonally and curving here and coming down so that's his huge back he got a huge back okay now we're gonna make his hand so it's not like a tiger normally tigers uh, uh, walk on all of their legs uh, they, like it's like the hands are also legs but but here it's like a normal human it's like he's got uh, hands his hands up here like we have ta, ta, ta. okay so we're gonna first start with the curve line here okay and then on the bottom he's quite muscular he's a muscular tiger okay so we're gonna make a curve line up here and down here now we're gonna get a straight line out very long and one more from here coming straight out uh, they're almost identical lines okay now uh, now we're going to be making his thumb and this hand has the paintball gun okay so we're going to make the paintball gun cool first we're going to start with a straight line up like this okay now we're going to make a, a line this way and then curving back like this so that's his thumb Okay, we can extend this coming a little in a different angle coming this way. Okay, up a little more. Because here it's coming down, it's going a little up. Okay, let's continue. So we're going to now make uh, his, the handle of the gun. Where you like hold it with. Okay, so uh, like example, uh, almost like this. See, hold a gun like this. This is, don't worry, this is not a real gun, it's just a toy. Okay, let's continue. That is just random. I'm showing you how the grip is. We've done it with swords earlier. So let's continue. Let's make the handle now. So we're going to make a straight line coming down. Uh, for now, it looks weird. So it's con just connecting into that part. Now we're going to uh, extend it out a little more curve it and make a line coming across this is a curve like that uh, curving it again teeny bit making a straight line out up here okay now we're gonna make a straight line come out like we're gonna imagine that uh, handle part coming uh, out of there again okay Oof, i'm tired i mean i'm not like too tired but just saying a lot of things is tiring okay now we're gonna get a huge straight line all the way across to the tip of our paper okay i was planning on making like the paint coming out of the paintball gun but it's fine i mean if you draw it a little this side like that always happens you like you don't know exactly where to start but it's okay if you if you have space you can make the, some paint uh, the, some paint coming out uh, later but i can't but it's fine okay so um now we're gonna make a straight line coming down okay and try to make sure that it's in line with this but it's fine if it's not because i'm not gonna be doing it so we're gonna make a straight line coming all the way across and see now what's happening is wait 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 stop if you're in the middle let's see you can still do it so i'm from this part i'm making it, it, it getting th it's, it's here it's like this but it's getting a little thicker like this see it's coming out a little it's not straight so we're doing that 
and then it's going a lot of down and then we're gonna make a, a diagonal line coming up okay that's cool now we're gonna make a straight line here and color it in that's like a big triangle there okay or half a diamond okay now now you uh, you can't really see the rest of his fingers but let's try to make some of them like we can make uh, uh four of them here yeah so so wait i did them too fast so they're basically uh wait so, uh, one second so basically they're like curves small curves uh, I don't know how to like draw it somewhere else because we don't want to draw it on our paper or make it a rough sheet So it's basically just a small hump upside down like that. Okay, you can just copy it if you didn't understand Okay Now before we move on I forgot to add some stripes on his hand So we're gonna because sometimes we go on with the thing and then sometimes I just forget to make the stripes then so that's why we're just gonna do it now because i just remembered okay so on the top of our tiger's hand uh, uh, the, the arm part we're gonna start with a, a line coming down and line coming up you see that that's like a fang like this is like a tooth fang but the curved fang but this is like a straight fang like a vampire's and we're gonna color it in so we're gonna do this again on a little space with this little space and do, uh, do it again color it in with black now the same thing once more and color it in okay we're done with those stripes now actually first let's just do a curved line in so that's the uh, front part of his body his stomach and his chest that's there which is coming into his hand and later we'll remove it of, uh, we'll make I mean we'll make imagine it coming through and now let's make some stripes on his back So first we're gonna do a straight line coming out Straight line coming in like this is the same thing almost and color it in we're gonna do it again Now we're gonna do it again Again and Now I'm just going into thin air there's no body part, but it's fine because later we know that the body is gonna come in there and the space between them, just remember. Okay, that's the last one for now. We're gonna do the others later. We just do one spike on this side of the arm. Okay, let's continue the gun now. So we're gonna make a straight line, like a, uh, um, a um, it's, it's like a separator, okay? Just for this, uh, that part. And one important thing is, Where's the paint? I mean, paint ball needs some paint, and we have to make it show some way the paint, otherwise, it's just a gun. So, we're gonna make a, a like a very thin rectangle on the top there, okay? And now we're gonna start like this. So, we're gonna make a curved line coming up, not too big, but it is quite big, but like this. So, curved line coming up now, it's coming this way, curved. It's and we're gonna get it in. So if you didn't understand, this is just a huge circle. It's basically a circle, you can do it. Okay, and we're gonna make the balls in here. So balls are like this, we're gonna make a small circle. Okay, and like that, we're gonna, is a curved line. Uh, so we're gonna repeat all these balls like this. You can make how many ever you want, just pile them up like this. Like how I'm doing, just pile them up. You can, uh, because these are the balls filled with paint, okay? So you can just repeat this. Well, uh, I want to like fill the whole thing with balls and fill half because we want to make it look like he's used some of the balls. Okay, that's enough. Those are balls, so you can do that too. You can make half so that it looks like he's used up some. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna make a huge straight line like this like the top part uh, but uh, but it's like uh, doing the same thing and we're gonna make a straight line coming down line diagonal this way and straight line down so that's like a plate there you know plate is like it's like a part of the gun just showing it and then we're gonna do a dot in the corners you see these corners everywhere we're gonna do dots those are like the things 
screws that are connecting it in the gun. Okay, now we're doing X shape there. Okay. We're gonna do one more X shape and one more X shape. Those are like crosses that whoever's coming close knows that hey, get oh, that they don't know that it's dangerous. I mean, paintball not dangerous, but just for fun. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna just do some straight lines in for like a design on there. Straight lines on the handle there. Okay. And we're gonna do again like that, a plate here, this uh, shape, like a straight line up, straight line down, straight line this way, straight line that way. And then again, those screws, uh, we'll do one here, even though there's two corners, they will do one. Okay. Oof. This is a nice, okay, this is probably, a good, this is one of my favorite lessons till now, I think. We're not finished it yet, but one of my favorites, I think. It's turning out quite good. Okay. Now see that curved line we've done here? We're going to continue the body now because we finished the gun. So see that curved line? We're going to get all... Uh, we're going to continue it. Imagine going through like that. Okay, to there. So it's like matching up with this part here. Okay. We're not going to do stripes on his belly. Okay. So now we're, we're going to uh, make his pants... Because he, he, because he needs some pants. Because he's now like a, almost like a human. So he needs some pants. Oh, wait. Sorry. But if you want to do the legs, we first have to do one more thing. You know, his hand, his other hand also has to come somewhere. The way it looks like he only has one hand. Or it's on the other side. But we want to show it. So let's make it at the back. Like he's like, uh, we'll, you'll see. So we're gonna make a curve line uh, up from there and a curve line from the bottom here. Okay. Now we're gonna make a, a huge curve line coming down like that. And a curve line, a diagonal line this way. Okay. Now we're gonna uh, do, um... oh wait, we forgot to do his nails. So we're going to do one small curve. You might not be able to see just a small triangle there. And we can do it on these two. Okay, now we're going to continue here. So we're going to do a line this way and curve it. So that's for his thumb. And curve it this way. Oops, some sound is coming from out, sorry. So, curve this way, curve this way, curve this way. So, that's uh, that part. So, we're going to repeat this curve, it, but we're going to get it curved out, coming in. And we're going to do this again, one last time, and get it all the way curving in there. Now, let's do his uh, nails. So, one triangle there, and the other ones on his fingers again. Okay. Now I'm just going a little fast, like the repeated thing that we already done, I'm going a little fast because it's going to get really long than a lesson because there's also still coloring to do. So, um, and I want to make it short because like a lot of people won't want to like, sit for a long time just to see the, just to, to see the video because the drawing video is supposed to be quick so that people like it and it's not long okay so we're gonna start again so we're gonna make the stripe there color it in stripe there color it in stripe there color it in and the last one there and, and we're gonna do one one more here this uh, up way and coloring it. so i didn't explain the triangle and then color it in I mean, I didn't explain to make the triangle as the uh, stripe so that it's fast because we already done it. Okay, now let's come into his pants. This part I'll do slowly. So we're going to make a really wobbly, wriggly line like this all the way across from that line to that line. Okay, now a wiggly line this way. Uh, a very crooked uh, triangle line there this way uh, wiggly line this way wiggly line this way 
wiggly line this way and that crooked line we did here basically like triangles almost without the bottom line wiggly line up okay you finish your shorts okay so um we're gonna uh go in and color in this okay so um just quickly do it because they are going to be black and and uh, no point in doing it in the coloring time so we can just do this but i'm not like hurrying up the lesson it can be long lessons because i've had really long lessons also like the wolf one the wolf wars you could see that video if you want okay almost done just finishing it off the bigger strokes you do the easier it'll be so the bigger strokes make it go easier Okay, almost done. Last bit. Done. Okay, we've colored in his shorts. Now we're gonna go into his legs. So we're gonna make a score. Uh, uh, wait, I did that too fast. So I'm gonna make a straight line coming down, a straight line coming down there. This one's a little tiny curved. Okay. Now we're gonna make from here uh, another straight line coming down the little and getting a little uh, thinner so and one straight line now. So see it's getting a little inner. It's not like it's fat. Like this part is getting a little thin. And we're gonna make his toes now. So we're gonna start with a straight line coming out, okay? And we're gonna make a curved line a curved thing there. And we're gonna make one more, one more, and one more. He has only four toes. Because sometimes you can make them different. So, and we're gonna make this uh, coming here. And we're gonna curve it and make a straight line all the way to that. Okay, now let's make his, uh, his um, nails there. So, we're gonna make a curve like the same thing as we've done on the claws, which are sharp. Uh, we're gonna do all of them like that with the uh, with the claws okay now we're gonna make those big stripes so we're gonna make a big triangle like but a little bigger than what we did here i mean a little mm, mm, bigger so we're gonna uh, color it in then like we always did and one more time big here and one more time big here Okay, now, now we're gonna do one here, from here coming out. Okay, we finished the first leg. Oh, and we'll do one this way. He has got a lot of different stripes. He's a good, he's a fancy tiger. Okay, now we're gonna go into the next leg, so we're gonna start with the curve line a little curve like we did here and straight line this way now we're gonna make it a little thin by coming in a little more okay and we're gonna make his feet come this way so we're gonna start with i mean the toes so get the straight line here make it curved make it curved make it curved and make it curved okay from here we're gonna make a line coming like this curving it and coming in we're gonna make those uh, nails in there and now the stripes so we're gonna make the first one okay second one third one uh fourth one this way and fifth one this way okay we almost done with our tiger let's just do one stripe this way on his belly okay okay we're done with our tiger Yahoo! okay we're not too much done we first need to color it yay we need to color it first okay so this coloring is gonna be fun with this guy okay just getting my colors. Let's go to get it ready. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got my colors and my sharpeners. Okay. So I got my Prisma color here. We're gonna be using a, a color pencil. You could use crayons if you want. 
or sketch pens, but I recommend color pencils more. But you can use sketch pens for if you want. Okay, so uh, um, so I'm gonna be start coloring right now. Oh wait! Stop! 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 Cut. No, we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna be fast forwarding. I forgot to tell you that. Uh, we're gonna be fast forwarding this part the of the coloring. So now I'm gonna be starting the coloring in three, two, one. No. Okay guys, I finished coloring and it turned out really well the tiger. I like especially the tiger's color. It turned out really good orange. It's not too light, not too dark. It's like a perfect orange. A little dark orange. It's not like a light orange. So, um, the orange I used was pale vermilion. Oh, it's not like orange, it's a vermilion. Okay. Um, so the paintball is gonna use a lot of different colors because it's paint and there are a lot of different colors for it and then the gun, uh, blue and uh, uh, indigo blue and uh, silver and, and that that's pretty much the colors and then all those different colors, yeah, that's pretty much all the colors I used. So I hope you like this video. Now you can pause the video to match the same coloring or you could do your own coloring which is good and um subscribe to my channel if you uh, like it if, if you like my channel and um give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and check out my other videos too so um, you could uh, you could also make your tiger different you can make some you, i mean you can make this but you can make different things on it you can just you can design the paintball gun differently you can do whatever you want you can make a different color you can make a, a uh, blue color tiger uh, a white color tiger you can do whatever you want uh, you don't have to do the same thing so yeah uh, thank you for watching guys you can purchase prisma colors and sharpies too um, and this outstanding sharpener from muji which is a stationery shop not only stationery but has a lot of things so yeah i'm gonna give you a close up Okay, bye guys. Thank you for watching. Oh guys, stop the video if you almost ended it and you, uh, you want to see a teeny clip of this. Stop it because I just added it in the tail. You can just pause the video quickly and copy it, okay? Because um, because that's one of the most important parts about the tiger's tail. We forgot it, I can't believe it. So, there's just some small tricks. Add it in. Bye again.